Hey guys, what's up? It's both you and knowing how all my vets are doing. So I recently just figured out how to fix the whole delay within like my audio and video. So now everything should be synced up. So I don't think there won't be any more desync, thankfully. So you guys will have to worry about that if you've even noticed it. Anywho, we're heading to Echo Cave, which is an ancient forest now. Now that we're there past level 40. Um, I've thought about it and I think I am going to start in um, Land of Size next. After that well, actually, no, I don't think I can because I think I'm going to level in that area to where the next dungeon opens up. Hmm. Should I do two dungeons? Like, afterwards? I probably should because I'm not sure how much XP I'm going to start getting. And Land of Science is supposed to get me into... Level 48, and I think that might skyrocket a little bit. So I might be level 40. Probably like level. Actually, I'll probably be like level 50 by the time that CP done. Like over level 50. It really depends. Okay. I might do both dungeons. If I level in that area. But anyway, I'm excited to uh, try out some new skills. I'm hoping this ability resets aggro. Or I have an ability that resets aggro. Oh yeah, I've been trying to craft this stupid sword and it refuses to give me the damn sword. It's, it's been failing off and on. Unfortunately, I don't know the chance of this sword because Gravitation doesn't tell you the actual success rate. This is a fake success rate. Um, that's something you're gonna run into a lot with Grand Fantasia is you're gonna keep failing crafting a lot so you gotta make extra swords so if you got like four swords craft all those four swords then craft four of these just in case then make sure you can craft four of those I've already gone through four <laughs> so yeah kind of sad right now all right so I need to do mission order one. I can use it already. Perfect. Okay. Thankfully, I did not level it. So give me another one. So what's in here? Okay. Still 80 points and 50% movement speed. The enemies are up to our eye level. Okay, so there is a objective I gotta do here. So I gotta go talk to this. This is somebody else. They are 
Wait, are they an ancient force? It seems like they're an ancient force. I, oh, I gotta go to Lands of Sai. Okay, so I am supposed to start in Lands of Sai, I guess. Um, fuck, okay, I guess we'll just teleport there. I didn't expect that I had to go all the way over here. Okay, so we got the quest for our the cave. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use Song of the Sprites to get back. Which is always great to save our soul. So the direction we are going is the left side. markers to the west of here. So we're sound these are appearing. So I need to go this way. This is what you're saying for that objective. Hmm. So there's no point in taking this right now. Oh yeah, there was an export quest in here. Uh, I think it would be best if I just do this stuff first. Oh, bud. Okay, now the skill's activated. I had that sword right about him. It's not supposed to pick up gray, gray up. So I was sitting here and like, I was like, wait a minute, why are you leaving these here? So far, so good. Our spacing is actually 
pretty decent right now. Um, that didn't game. I was sitting there like, wait a minute. It's like, why can't that hit him anyway? Hey, here you go. Go get more of your stuff. We need one more. We can try again. It'd be great if it did it during this video. Uh, I can level my uh, my camper right now, but I don't have the money. I need six gold. Oh my god. Oops. Face the wrong way. As I said before, dude, action M MMO RPGs have exploded the hell out of me. Okay, why the hell is my hamper keep getting targeted? Is this hitbox that wide? Wish I could also, like, change the movement speed of this as well. I guess I can lower the DPI on my mouse. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that works. But then it becomes, like, very slow. Oh my god, you little shit. Get the freaking tail, scale, whatever the hell it is, please. I beg of you. sad part is I can't trust this ability when it comes to reflection damage. Because if, I, if an NPC has a reflection damage like ability, like a pop up at any time, I could just be destroying myself just off that. Did you get it this time? Okay, good. Um, I'm not sure if I can get it. But we're gonna see. The reason I won is just because the plus fifteen uh, movement speed. And plus it's a level forty sword, so I know. It's a two hander. Oh my god, you finally got it.
Swordmaster my ass. It took you like, I don't know how many freaking swords I've been through. Like, jeez. Right, let me put this on here. Okay, that's what I figured it did. I wonder. Okay, so it doesn't add anything to damage reduction. Ah, uh, lace high. I guess the stats are pretty good on air. But then again, this is overall stats. I mean, that's the best thing about, like, dungeon gear is because you can get overall stats as well. But you'll miss out on, like, set bonuses that give a lot more. Yeah, the attack speed one I'm gonna keep on. But I have the movement speed from the sword. Makes it a lot easier to counter you kite everything. If I'm low HP, then I'll use that sword. Oh, the master system uh, is up now. Nice. Uh, so let's see. We got we got movement speed, which I'll probably put everything into. Uh, we got agility as well. Okay, we have a lot of damage stuff. Damn. I gotta choose wisely on that. I think movement speed would probably be the best thing to go into because I can get up to 20% movement speed out of that. Okay. So you're the boss ride over here. Yeah. Let's get you guys out of there. What? You aggroed? Okay, that's yes. Oh, you aggroed onto my panther. That's fine. Okay, so that does reset aggro. That's nice. Too bad it doesn't last too long. God, your movement speed is insane. Jesus Christ. I'm talking about the enemy movement speed. Like, they're able to keep up with me so easily. That's a concern.
I gotta pick up the item. Did he drop an item? Okay, nah, he didn't drop an item. I still need to pick up the uh, two chest now. So that quest is done. If I remember correctly, the escort quest goes through um, the dinosaur side. Okay, the gun skills is pretty decent. Don't want to know, because the hit chance of speed is actually very nice from this bow. Um, we're going to have to swap to this. Wait, no I'm not. I don't have to swap to this. This is not even close to what I need in stats. At least I know I get accessories here. Alright, so now we fight towards um, the tomb. Thing I can do if I get a uh, if I get my beast control, I can just send him into two different enemies and pick off one instead of two enemies coming after me. That'd be useful for dungeons later on. Um, as of right now, I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of go because next to dungeons. Set of quests. Oh god. Tap targeting is also really good. Cool. speed are we at for these guys to keep keeping up with me? A hundred and... oh, okay. I thought it would be like 200 because that's normally what my druid is at most of the time. In bird form at least. I don't know, it's in wolf form too, I think. But then again, it's also because the animations are keeping me locked in place to where some abilities are going to be risky to keep using. I was kind of hoping something would give me a tag speed here. But so far, nothing has. So far, so good. Don't have to worry about too much, so it's fine. Not gonna get much XP out of this dungeon. Uh, I think level 45 is as good as this XP is gonna get. Depends on, uh, actually, no, it depends on how these uh, quests go. Quest XP, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I said, tad targeting is weird. I've been wondering what this skill does. Ah, it reduces physical uh, physical damage. Man, I 
wish my skills were dumb bosses. At least gave me like an interrupt or something. Sword is out of actually at the head bed. That looks pretty neat. That's also something I gotta remember. I have a slowdown skill. Uh, I don't really know. I'll just take one. Oh yeah, this XP is not something to brag about. You know, dungeon XP is for dungeon quest XP is actually pretty terrible. Jesus. I actually thought it was going to be good. Um, so... Lost Beasts are next. Uh, if I remember correctly, these guys cast Misfortune. Uh, I actually can't see it, but I'm pretty sure these guys cast Misfortune. Which makes this dungeon like very annoying. I'm also not a huge fan of Gravitation's like FOV. I like to be way more zoomed out than this. I don't know why. I guess because the camera like pops in now and then when I'm like looking at an obstacle, it just does this. I'm not used to games doing this. <laughs> well, I wasn't back. Well, now. Ah, oh, this is where we have to take the flare. Oh. Uh, okay, so, yeah. As I figured, it's around the dragon. Oh, little beast area. Actually, we should be doing more damage to these guys because they're beasts. We're not using as much mana, thankfully. But then again, the dungeon is regening us. We need to remember where that is. I forgot it's a chance. I totally forgot it's a chance that that activates. Oh, what the fuck? Damn game. Uh, I'm so used to going to the way my camera feels like facing. Oh yeah, they do cast Misfortune. That's not gonna be fun. Uh, they also cast Days. Then again, I'm not magic. So my magic attack isn't affected by that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Okay, there's 
second one. Ah, I was trying to push three. It, okay, how the hell did you even mark onto them? Okay, never mind. Not if my character keeps making absurd decisions. Why are you turning around? Oh yeah, they have strong attacks they can use from a distance. Forgot about that. Is this the right one? I think it's this. Okay, why are you trying to attack that one? I totally forgot how weird tap targeting is. Because it does, it says it goes to the nearest one. Most of the time it does not at all. Alright, so I need to keep this window open. So I can see what weapon I have swapped here. I used way too much time trying to figure out what weapon I was on. Why are you going forward? Oh yeah, they have a long distance misfortune. I was not thinking about that. I wasn't thinking about that at all. When they start casting. Oh, here's where the key is for the uh, final boss. Ah, there's a third one. God, I hate misfortune. It's just an annoying diva. Okay, that damn. I thought I can go into my. My melee skill and it will adjust me back the right way. So I can jump back the correct way. But then I clicked and moved. Which screwed up that. So that one was my my issue. I 
I should start using rocket skills a lot more. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Also, my character's gonna... Anytime I jump back, my character's gonna run in, too, if I create that much distance, unfortunately. Because he's at, like, the perfect range to where you can find him. Summon you. Weirdly enough, I think the final, like, little boss in this area. Not like the dungeon boss. Whoa. Did you turn on my skills? I'm out of arrows. Oh, okay. That caught me off guard. Oh, these guys actually do a lot of damage. Hello? Okay, for some reason my skills were delayed. I should die here, but it's fine. It's, like I said, you don't lose XP when dying inside of a dungeon. I didn't realize I was almost out of arrows. I think it does increase your duration still, right? Okay, no. Nah. I didn't think about how many arrows I was using thanks to the, this bow. It's speeding up my animations. How much uh, malice decrease do I have? Ooh, I have 99 malice. If you guys ever need to uh, sell anything, quest board is actually somewhere you could sell as well. You don't want anything you have. The fuck? Did you just drink that item? to see. Yeah, at 46. Well then. Huh. So I have to do this before I hit 56. Okay, new bows are coming into play. Pulse arrows. So I can start getting those arrows now. Um... I'm nowhere near it. Well, actually, I am near it. I just need to level my foraging. I think 500 arrows should keep us... Should keep us, uh, well into them. Anyway, we can go down here now. For our worms. slowed and said Are you still 
aggro, buddy. Or character. Like, Jesus. It's a thing. You already have one enemy attacking you. There's no need to change priorities. But as I say, it doesn't help that if you're clicking also, just to move, you can also make a mistake and change your target. So if you're trying to run away and there's an enemy that just paps here, we can also screw you up. There's no option to turn it off. It's just something you just got to get used to and pay attention to your surroundings. Okay, so Shiva has an item. Well, we actually have to collect. Oh my god, you little shit. Are you going to take forever just to... Just to get that done. There, you should be excited, so you should be able to get some more XP. So that's done now. I guess I'll kill the rest of the worms too. Ah, I think I will hit it level 36 actually. I didn't think I was going to get it off the... Thanks being here. I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. Okay, you got it. Nice. So that means we can collect this now. And we start making some uh, arrows. How many arrows? Well, how many uh, resources do need to make those arrows? Ten? Okay. Oh, whoops. Fat fingered that. Yeah, that should be too much. I need to keep that window open. Actually, there is something else I can do. Just keep an eye on my ammo. Put it down here. Well, why did you float up like that? I just realized you were down there. So now I can keep track of my arrows down there. I've also realized that the cage, uh, that certain runestones don't show up anymore. So I'm kind of sad because the cage runestone doesn't show up anymore. So that's something that's going to hold me in the future because I was kind of relying on that for this character. And the fact that it's not going to show up anymore is a shot from what I've seen. 
to make this playthrough a whole lot more difficult. If you guys are curious of what the cage rusto does, it keeps an enemy in place. And this can trigger multiple times, so it doesn't have a cooldown of how many times I can keep somebody in place. Think about being able to kite through dungeons. Okay, so we did that quest. Now we gotta go back. Oh, shit. I didn't realize this place was still uh, littered with you guys. Hey, switch targets. Switch targets to him. Imagine if I would have took that 20% uh, debuff. I would have been shredded by this. This is why I say you gotta keep your gears up to date. Because <laughs> these dungeons are only gonna get harder. Four? Really? How the hell did you pull off my panther that far? The best thing about this is that even with the move, I can just take one hit and it gives regen, which is completely fine in there. That's not a bad thing. As long as I'm taking one hit, because some bosses can gain attack speed that can hit you for multiple times. I'm gonna try and make it to where I don't get hit at all. So this sword is probably gonna be with me for a long time, to be honest. Oh yeah, the one thing I'm supposed to do, not keep it and put one point it's at until I'm ready to start grinding. It now walks. Okay, you're choosing that path. Why would you choose that path? That is the long way around. Okay, all right, game. <laughs> all right, I'll I'll take control of you here, because apparently you, you don't know what you're doing. So I know where the orbs are. Um, I think during the escort is going to spawn minions. In case the player cleared it for um, doing this. God damn it. I ran out of the stamina on you. Uh, make me more rounds. Nice. Okay, so now we gotta go kill the final boss of this uh, dungeon. Well, that one's actually pretty decent. Which one is terrible, though? Let's see. That one gives me a lot of HP. 
Uh, I guess we'll replace that one. One person who loves my agility, okay? I guess right now we can go ahead and do the... Um, do the quest. Just to see what buffs we get. Part of me is hoping this movement speed. So we know where these are. One of them is this one. Well, actually, one of them is right here. Enter the boat. I don't know if I'm doing this right. No time I had to kill these enemies next to the orc, right? Maybe I did. Maybe I goofed. Fortunately, I could still take these off if I need to. Target. Oh, what the hell? My game just skipped. Okay, so. I do take this torch to the enemies. I guess I have to kill certain enemies with the uh, torch. So that one got done. Oh, okay. I have to stay here for a certain amount of time. Okay, so I was doing it right. Now I gotta go find the other one. And this last one. Okay, so you gotta stay there for like... 10 seconds, basically. I would have never noticed that if I didn't go to the, my timed event. That's honestly something the game should be telling you. Okay, what did you do? 
Okay, so we have all attack speed. Well, all attacks increased. I can get rid of this now. You can't turn off, like, certain buffs or debuffs. Some of them. Not all of them. You can. Especially if that's to do with it a bit. Ah, I just thought about it. There's something in, uh... Kazlau that actually... That actually gives you stats. I gotta follow this thing to its objective. Then I think it will resummon these guys, right? Just to fight them. Oh, apparently won't. Well, never mind. I can actually get him there pretty safely. Oh shit, I didn't even see these guys. Oh, because he's going down there. got done. What did I get for that? Defense and... Oh, okay. That's great, actually. Uh, this is the final boss of this area. I can actually use this thing. Is he an aggro? Probably not. That's fine though. I cancel the skill by moving. That's the one skill I wish I can use while moving. Oh yeah, he's something good. I forgot about that. the bus for that. Alright. 
So we finished that. I want to go talk to this guy because I think he had one more dialogue that we can do. I think I'm confident he'll be fine. Not sure about this one, honestly. So that one has a shorter path. I don't think this one does. I guess I can go check on the other one. Oh god. Okay. What, what an invisible wall? I also need to grab quite a bit of potions or figure out how to make some potions that give me movement speed as well. Ah. Okay, I didn't. I thought I did. Okay. Why does that switch targets when I do that? Well, I, I thought it was going to be empty. I also don't know why those scrolls are showing up so early. I cannot use these right now. The other one should have made it by now. I actually don't know which way he went. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's right there. He's fine. Yeah, the other one I have to do. Alright, after we're done with this, I guess I will, uh... Oops. Wait a minute. You can, oh, the okay. Never mind. I was thinking Lee was an actual like quest boss. No, Lee is an optional boss. Well, not an optional boss in the sense of uh, the repeat quest though. Still alive? Did you go the other way?
Oh yeah, you went the other way. Okay, all, all of them are complete. They're all still alive. Okay. I was sitting here like, wait a minute. First I thought he went down this way. Another S scroll. Can we stop giving me S scrolls? They're, they're terrible for me right now. I would enjoy an A scroll. The S scroll is just freaking awful. I am not maxing out my weapons like this early in the game. God damn it. Okay. The Panther's hitbox is a lot bigger than I thought. Alright. So it's time to turn in this quest. Well, not turn in this quest. I gotta go finish this quest. Honestly, this is the first dungeon that makes you uh, fight the final boss. I'll say, whoa, what am I doing? Throw that out. Throw that out. I'll throw that out. Being regretful is what you want to push there. Um, right now. Oh, I remember this boss. This one is a nuisance. She gives us option, turns off all skills. All my skills. So I have to be careful. Thankfully, I'll be moving around, so this probably won't be too much of an issue. Um, this will more than likely be an issue. I have to use my other bow for this. Uh, cast speed will probably be an issue. And then lowering my defense and sealing my mana will also be an issue too. So this bow will be great for this fight, honestly. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need you to make more arrows because I'm gonna run out soon. Damn, I didn't actually think about this boss. This boss is actually very annoying. This is one of the one of the I would say where difficulty actually starts to come in. Because this boss actually has a good kit to deal with like solo players. Especially if you are physical. Even if you're magic, because getting ticked for 200 is pretty annoying as well. Plus, your cast chance being a lot longer 
will also become a decent issue. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This lowers magic damage, too. So, yeah, he has a pretty good kit to deal with solo players. We gotta be careful here. Ah, oh, goddammit. If I make mistakes like that, and get myself silenced. Like, like I just did. It's a long range exhaust. Oh god. That's annoying. I'm not taking too many of her melees, I think I should be good. Okay, this right here is going to be annoying. Lock that. Oh god. Oh, okay, I forgot. Well, means she summoned and also stunned. Did she walk into it? Nope, she did not. Ah, that's one thing I hate about this, is the turnaround. Like, me pushing a skill turns my character around. Unless I hold a right click. But I don't get the much as freedom as I was, uh, getting. I am taking minimum damage. I can't s stop and deal with minions though. I actually have to... I have to rely on my movement abilities. Okay, yeah. Okay, dude. The swapping directions when I'm using a skill needs to stop. Is there a way to turn that off? There has to be, please. Fixing the direction of my camera is something I don't want to deal with. That is the worst thing you can do in the game. I'm gonna wait for her to get an auto in. Hell, did you just turn invisible? I think she should be dead. There we go. Got it. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Well then. Had to deal with some hiccups there. Um, I can throw away the rest of the keys, I don't need those anymore. I could do that. 
so I also don't have the stuff for that. Um, Alright, so I guess we'll be going um, Ode next. Ode Island. It's gonna be a long walk, by the way. I don't know why the pathing lights the right side. Oh, I have enough for my um, for my uh, cat now. So I can actually increase your level. Let's see. Actually, I have a lot for a lot of my abilities. Meteor can go up again. For damage. I wish I had a quick shot. That's 20 and 20 seconds. Never mind. <laughs> Turn in the quest. How much gold do I get? Get 10, 10 gold off that? Not too bad. But I also have Cave Explorer now. Which isn't all that good. To be honest, especially for me, but if you guys want a drop chance increase uh, title, there you go. You have to get it from um, Echo Cave before you hit level 50. Because if you hit level 50 and don't finish this quest, um, you aren't able to get it again unless you reincarnate. And if you miss it again after reincarnation, you're going to have to wait for them to add in reincarnation too. Which we don't know how long that's going to take them. Um. Okay, so we're done here. Let's go turn in this skill. What that skill? Uh, this quest. Oh yeah, we got to go to the. Back to the Magic City. Oh, I could have sold everything there. Did I get a cape? Oh, I got a cape for myself, finally. It's not a good cape, but you know, it's a cape. Agility. Um, we're going to take a chance for this one. We won't be in these gears for too long. Oh, I could have. Oh, never mind. I was about to say I could have died, but it's the world boss, and yeah, I should be strong enough to kill him. <laughs> I was panicked, dude. I was like, "Oh shit, it's the world boss." gimmick plus. <sighs> well, it took us, um... Okay, why? Ah, oh, because I pushed escape. It took us... one hour and 15 minutes, basically, to finish the... Echo Cave. And that was also just adding on the little bonus quest, which you guys could probably just do one. One of those little golem things, because I don't think it gave you anything else. Unless you did all of them at the same time and it gives you a better buff. I'm not sure. Magic 
city we go. I was kind of hoping when you guys had like a shop on you. So I didn't have to walk all the way to something. Oh, that's how you get to this lost realm? No, oh, okay. That is how you get to lost realm. Noted. Do I have enough? No. Nah, I've been gaining a whole bunch. That sucks. I do want to show you guys something... Something pretty neat that maybe a lot of players haven't realized. There is a guy in Kozlau that actually gives buffs depending on your level. That I haven't been paying attention to at all. I totally forgot he existed. He's in front of the, um, the little pillar in the middle of the um, in the middle of the city. This should be a time traveler dude right here. Where that crystal is. I'm going to show you guys. Because I know what the buff for the... Um, I don't know if I'm say... All of these are terrible. It's the only thing I can use. Wow, you got the shittiest thing out of all that. Oh yeah, okay, it, yeah, it just sends me straight to the Silence. Just straight up. Okay, nice. So I guess I'll be doing that area next. Um, nice. Also with that said, uh, let's go to... As I want to show you guys this buff. I think you have to be level 31 and up to receive this buff. Wait, what? Oh, this is another quest. Oh, this is for uh, the old island. Thank God, okay. I was actually wondering what that quest was. So yeah, you have different buffs depending on where you're going from. Come to the suit. You're level 1. 70 to... 76 to 100. You actually get a really decent buff from him. Um, I don't know what the buff from here is. Okay. It's still the same. Yeah, it's the same as the other ones. Ooh, but I think it's a greater buff, actually. I think this buff is a lot stronger. That's actually not too bad. But yeah, as soon as you step in Kozlo, you get the um, next quest. The next dungeon quest. I don't know why it's in the end of character, though. That kind of throws me off. guess we'll be doing this uh, next video because this is actually where you uh, enter this quest. Those of you guys who have never done this dungeon before, this guy is how you enter. Alright, with that said, I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next one. Into then. He's out.